Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel friends if you are not subscribed my YouTube channel yet do subscribe it today and press the bell icon to receive notification about my new videos. In this video we will see how to enable BitLocker in Windows 11 operating system drive. So the BitLocker drive encryption is a data protection feature that integrates with the operating system and addresses the threats of data theft or exposure from lost, stolen or inappropriately decommissioned computers. It is available on Windows 11 Pro Education Enterprise Edition not available on Windows 11 Home Edition. You must be an administrator to enable BitLocker on a operating system drive. When you enable BitLocker on operating system drive, new files are automatically encrypted when you save them to the drive. However, if you copy these files to another drive or different location on your system, these files will be automatically decrypted. Now let's see how you can enable BitLocker drive encryption on operating system drive. So first of all open file explorer go to this PC you can see that here windows is installed on C drive and it is the only drive available on this system. Now we will enable BitLocker on this operating system drive. So simply right click on this operating system drive and select turn on BitLocker. Click yes in the user account control confirmation prompt. In few seconds you will see that BitLocker drive encryption wizard has been started and first screen is how do you want to backup your recovery key. So the recovery key can be used to access your files and folders if you have problems unlocking your PC with BitLocker encrypted drive. Here you can save your BitLocker recovery key to Microsoft account to a file or print the recovery key. So I will use the first option here. And you can see that the recovery key has been saved. For saving to Microsoft account, you must be switched to Microsoft account on this system. If you are on local account, this option may not be present. If you want to explore other options, you can check out here. And there is also a link which shows how you can find the recovery key later. There is a support article on this. This link has been also mentioned in the video description. Now if you want to save to a file. You can save the recovery key to a file but make sure you save it to a different drive other than the operating system drive because if you do that you will see this location can't be used error. So you can see that you cannot save it to desktop but you can save it to other different location drive. And the last option is to print the recovery key and by printing the recovery key you can safely keep it in your documents or its physical copy. So in this example I am saving the recovery key as a PDF document. You can save the PDF on the same drive but make sure you move it to another drive or location on your system to ensure that you have recovery key when you are logged out with BitLocker. Here is the sample recovery key and how it looks like. It has an identifier and a recovery key. So this is how you can save the recovery key. Now we will move to next step in the BitLocker drive encryption wizard and that is choose how much of your drive to encrypt. You can encrypt entire drive or you can encrypt used disk space only. So I am here selecting encrypt used disk space only and click next. Under which encryption mode to use select new encryption mode and click next. After this you will be asked are you ready to encrypt this drive. You can click on start encrypting. Then you will find that BitLocker drive encryption is now encrypting the drive. This process may take time depending upon the data you have on the drive. And it also depends on your system hardware specifications. So encrypting the drive takes few moments to complete once it is about to reach 100%. As in this video, you can see that the drive encryption is now completed. Make sure you do not interrupt the encryption process or turn off the PC during the encryption process 
अदरवाइज इट मे डेमेज द ड्राइव सो एज द ड्राइव इनक्रिप्शन इज कम्प्लीटेड यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द मैनेज बिट लॉकर लिंक इन दिस नोटिफिकेशन This will open a control panel window where you can see that operating system drive has BitLocker on. You can here suspend protection, back up your recovery key, or turn off BitLocker if you like. I will quickly restart the system to show you that there has been no effect on the drive and logging process. You can use the system like as usual, and still the BitLocker drive encryption is turned on on the operating system drive. Now let us quickly see how you can disable BitLocker drive encryption on the operating system drive. So we have already seen how to enable it. Now we will see how you can disable it. So you have to simply open the file explorer and go to this PC. Here you can see that the BitLocker drive encryption is already turned on on the operating system drive that is C drive. right click on that drive and select show more options then select manage bit locker in few seconds you will see the bit locker drive encryption open in the control panel later maybe this setting moved to settings app but as of this video it is in control panel in this window you have to click on turn off bit locker against the operating system drive click yes in the user account control confirmation prompt in the pop up window click on turn off bit locker you can see that here we have c drive is now decrypting if you click on the task bar icon you can see that the bit locker drive encryption is now decrypting your operating system drive this may also take a while just like the encryption process did So few moments later you can see that drive encryption is almost completed and here you can see that decryption of the C drive is completed this means the operating system drive is now decrypted just like before the bitlocker drive encryption was enabled and this is how you can enable and disable bitlocker drive encryption on your operating system drive in windows 11 So that's it for now in this video. Thanks for watching it. If you found it helpful, do like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.